So I'm gonna make a little diary. I'll say you feel you're sorry. I'm gonna make a little diary. Um October twenty second. I got in a motorcycle accident and um I broke eleven ribs, my collarbone. Um punctured my left lung, broke my hands. Oh. And, um, yeah, I lived. I was two weeks in the hospital. Today is November 23rd. So it's been almost a month. Well, over a month. So, uh, ribs feel a lot better now. I was released in the hospital two weeks after the accident. And I was intubated. I had a lot of painkillers and two epidurals on my back. Lower back, and then they moved it to the center of my back. I'm gonna make a diary because I was looking online and seeing the people that recover from stuff like this and it just wasn't consistent. So I'm gonna try to make it effort over the, the following months to let you know how the pain decreased. Uh, I know it's skipped a month now, so. My ribs feel a lot better. I couldn't sleep any other position besides my back, which is terrible because I'm a regular stomach sleeper, but when you're breaking that much ribs, you can't sleep any other position and you had to have a lot of pillows and since my left side was damaged more i had to prop myself more on my left side and since my collarbone's broken my shoulder my left shoulder just right here um hurt really bad because of the muscles are just trying to you know hold it together so i couldn't really move my left arm now that i can i can move it but it, the muscles are really tight um I don't take that much pain painkillers no more. I'm trying to just stay with Tylenol since as much as much uh, painkillers I've taken, it's just not good for your body. It didn't make me feel good. So now I just have sore muscles because the muscles around the ribs are just really, really, really sore. So uh, I have my right hand, my right wrist. I um have pins and screws on my wrist because all the little bones broke so that's going to live with me for a while until they take it off in january and now my right hand i broke my forearm so i have brackets and screws in that one and that one they told me they're going to live with i'm going to live with that one indefinitely unless it bothers me which it bothers me that i have metal in my body so but what can i say i'm alive and i have some nerve damage on these three fingers my wrist this one this one and this one I can move them, I can't close them. And um, they're supposed to get feeling later since I have a light, a little bit of feeling into them. Well, I'm gonna just make a video every week just to put out how well I'm doing and see if anyone helps, if helps anyone out. I'll try to do as long as I can. So people could see if they go through something I went through that at least they know what you can do. What makes this difficult is um, I'm very active. Uh, I mean, I was doing boxing classes before I got in an accident. I would run a lot, run three, four miles every other day. And every day I would just go find and do something. So my hands were always in use. You know, like lifting weights, gonna go to the park, stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm more concerned again the feeling back in my hands doctor to telling me that it'll take a full year before I can actually get back to normal which sucks so I'm gonna try to experiment with certain things I'm not gonna do boxing class or do high intensity hits no more try different things um and also just keep the weight off because I would weigh 205 when I got to the hospital right before I remember I recorded my weight every other day and then when I got out the hospital, I weighed 175, and I still do weigh 175. And since I can't really walk too much, I mean, go out too much or exercise, my exercise is literally just walking around the park for a little bit and then come back home. Um, I have to find something else to do, and I gotta keep my weight down and eat a little portion of food. But um, I'm gonna record this and keep the journal, maybe make a little collage, and uh, go from there. If you're interested, you know, look at the video. I'm gonna just try to keep people know. Thank you.